when you see them combine these things, okay, we're combining 60 billion of Ukraine aid with the border and some other things. Um, uh, do you try to ever tell people, mm -hmm. hey, maybe we could separate these things, vote on one thing at a time? Yeah, and it's, it's, it's also true on things with immigration. I'm actually not against immigration. I'm actually for uh, yeah, more lawful immigration, but it would need to be these little narrow bills. Instead, they say, well, yeah, we'll increase employment-based or work-based visas, but only if you give the 18 million people who are already here the right to vote. And I was like, Look, I'm, I'm pretty open on this issue. I would give work permits even to those who came here illegally. I'd probably give some work permits, but I'm not giving them the right to vote, mm -hmm. and we're not going to make that trade. So we've stayed at a standstill for the 12 years I've been here. No immigration changes have happened, even though I think some incremental things could be improved. None of it happens because the Democrats say all or nothing, comprehensive or nothing, and comprehensive for them means all 18 million people here illegally get to vote, and I'm not for that. What do you think the Democrats' intentions are here? Like, what do you think Biden or whoever's driving Biden at this point, what do you think the intentions are from all the videos we see at the border and the amount of people flooding? Everything about immigration is about power politics. It has nothing to do with the individuals. They don't, uh, there's, there's no sort of compassion. If you talk to these people, do you care about the little kids coming across, what might happen to teenage girls coming across? They don't care yeah. about that. All they care about is votes. Mm -hmm. Their whole goal is to take Texas. They've been trying to take Texas for 20 years. The only way they take Texas is let's legalize a couple of million people here illegally and let them vote. The sooner the better. That's why they can't wait till their kids grow up to vote because their kids actually might like America and start liking <laughs> American ways, right. become successful, enter the middle class, become rich, and all of a sudden say, wow, America's great. I don't want to have Mexico over here. I want to have a, I want to be part of this American dream. But if you let people vote immediately, particularly if millions come across, they come across with their own agenda. And you got to wonder, I mean, you see these people flying into Mexico City from China, well-dressed, designer clothes, thousand-dollar cell phone, snapping selfies of themselves as they come across the border. Very few women, very few children. Yeah. And the thing is, is they'll eventually, once they can get normalized, they'll bring in the rest of their family. Um, or are they here for nefarious purposes?